are you ready to get into this giant 120 pound haul? Cue the intro. Hey guys, what's up? My name's Hope. I'm a full-time nurse and a part-time reseller. I save lives, I save clothes, I save all the things. Thumbs up for that. Should we address the elephant in the room? Me! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So I'm in a new little area. I showed it on my Instagram. This wallpaper, I got at the bins. I know. So I thought, let me, let me put it on my wall. Have a cute new little backdrop for my videos. Do you love it? I love it. It's kind of glary, but that's okay. I love it. I went to the bins twice. So this is two trips. First time was 30 something pounds. Second time was 80 something pounds. When you combine them together or 90 pounds, it's 120 pounds total sitting right here in front of me. Four carts, me and my kids went hard. They got like 50 pounds themselves between the two of them. So they're wild, they love the bins. But anyways, so I spent my my portion because they, they went crazy too. My portion was $139.32, combining both those trips for the 120 pounds. I get 10% off if you spend over a certain amount at the bins, so it was 150 and then it came down to $139. So I did not count how many pieces I have here because, oh my gosh, it's way more than when I had 110 pounds. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. <laughs> when it's good, it's good, right? Like I just could not stop. And the kids were like, just one more rotation. <sighs> Twist my arm, kiddos. Twist my arm. So yeah, tons of good stuff. I'm so excited. Like, my good friend Kelly Schaffner says, karma comes back to you. What you put out there will come back to you. And I feel like this is my redemption from getting that lousy 100 pounds from Thread Up. The bins was on my side. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna break this video into a whole bunch of different parts. So yeah, here we go. All right, so let's just start here. Well, or here, 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 here. Where do you wanna start? Okay, look, maybe if I just start here to get this big thing out of my way. So I got this blanket, isn't this fabulous? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna destroy my whole setup. Look at this blanket. Yeah, it needs washed, do you see the dust? It's a uh, hand knitted, very retro mod. Wow, the lighting is crazy with this. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's huge, has this fun little trim. Let me show it to you. All the way around, it's fabulous, but it's heavy, it needs washed. But yes, I thought very, very bohemian, very. Now I gotta clear the air here. So that was heavy, that was probably expensive, but I feel like those hand quilts, retro, someone who's retro will love that. Okay, then I got really excited about this. I know that's ridiculous, but it's a towel. <laughs> it's called the big one, but I'm a, I love these wrap towels, not to sell, just for myself. I'm that type of person. Yeah, polka dots, it's like brand new, like the, even the elastic, like, no one's ever used this. Look how good that looks. Perfect. So I got that towel for myself. I get excited about towels. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna do all this heavy stuff first to get out of the way. I know you guys can see all that dust. And I'm, I haven't figured out the lighting yet. I'm surrounded by one, two, three, a ring light and three other lights because I'm in my dark, 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 dark basement. <laughs> dark, 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 dark basement. So I haven't figured out the lighting. So when I, everything is gonna probably change colors when I hold them up. I'm sorry, I'll figure it out eventually. Or I'll go back to my old spot where I look orange. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know guys, this lighting might be a problem. I darkened it, so we'll see. I got this Wilson's leather jacket. It's a woman's medium. It's got the thin silly lining in it. I don't usually pick up Wilson leather jackets, but it was in such good shape. I was like, okay, maybe I, maybe I should just give it a try. I'm just lighting. I don't know. I don't know. 
Um, I picked up this casual corner vintage wool blazer. It's a size 12. It's very, very, it's like that rust color. Long line, single button. It's lovely. Love, love blazers. All the blazers that I have been lip listing, I've been selling. Please don't get mad about my lighting. <laughs> as long as you can see the item, right? Who cares if my face like glows like I'm an alien? Okay, this is New York and Company. It's, uh, gosh, this stuff is so dusty. I'll be sneezing a million times. New York and Company, size eight. It's a like velvet, gray velvet blazer. I thought that was very trendy. It needs wash. It's got a little bit of ring around the neck. My ear itches. How comes my ear doesn't itch all day? And then when I come down here to film the video, my ear itches. I don't know. So yeah, got that. Don't, it's the bins. So at the bins, I'm very lenient about what I pick up. And this isn't even the good stuff. <laughs> it's just the okay stuff. Fillery, it's fillery items. Okay, this is the limited size small. Pretty sure this is an all wool. Wool poly rayon. It's just a trench. It's like a classic camel wool trench coat. So cute, isn't it? It's the limited. I don't. I don't ever pick up the limited, but it's belted. It had the belt. I grabbed it. Then I got this really great leopard blanket. Look at it. Snow. It's like snow leopard. It's just a soft and cozy blanket. I got that for my, my house. And then I got this wild puffer jacket. It's no, it doesn't have a brand. It says large size 12. I tried it on. Uh, no, it fits like a medium. It like doesn't button across the tata. Made in China. That's the tag. They go, how original. An L for large. But it's soft, it's metallic. It didn't weigh anything. I mean, it's like a giant puffer. So I grabbed it. Okay, this, you guys, I had just seen an advertisement for these online and I almost, and I almost got one. Like I almost paid $50 for this. And then when I seen it in the bin, like before I even grabbed it all the way by the hood, I knew what it was. It's one of those things like on Shark Tank. <laughs> it's called the Comfy. I can't wait to live my whole life in this. So it's this giant. So see how it says the Comfy. These are like 50 or $60. And I was getting ready to buy one. And this is the one I wanted or the leopard print, but I'm totally fine with gray. So it's like Sherpa, in the inside, gray velour on the outside. It's like this giant hoodie poncho blanket that you just wear and it's the comfy because it's the comfy. So that's for myself. That was heavy, but that's okay because it's for me and I didn't have to pay $59.99 plus shipping for it. So yeah, I also got this for myself. I promise I bought stuff to sell too. It's all in here. <laughs> this is just Old Navy puffer, quilted puffer vest. Cute for the fall, you know, with some black jeans, black boots, black shirt underneath, pop of blue. So excited about that for myself. I also have three bags of stuff that I got, like from, I got stuff for my dad, I got stuff for the kids. I shop for everybody while I'm there, and I'm not including any of that in this haul. Okay the wallpaper. <laughs> I got that. So there's still all this left. So I'm going to do this black wall here. That's beside my little mannequin. And yeah, so that way I have a whole corner, but it's just peel and stick. It's sold at Target and it's $30 a roll. So yay. Okay. Now let's do shoes. Want to do shoes? Let's do shoes. Do you got that squeak? That's my chair I'm sitting on. Okay, so I got these all birds. They're filthy. So, okay, so I got these all birds. They're like a blue gray, like slate blue. Um, one of the shoestrings is a little 
coming undone. They're filthy. They need to be washed. And they have a little bit of nick right there. But there's no holes in them besides that little one at the heel. The insides look really good. And they're all birds. And they'll wash so easy and, and clean up like now and not sell them for $35, $40. But they'll clean up easy. So I was excited to find all birds at the bins. Then I got these Sinooks. I got, so these are the yoga slings. These are gray. There was three pairs in the bins. I had all three pairs and I thought I only had one of the other. So I threw it back and I didn't, I had the other one. So I brought home a single Sinook. I, I was so mad. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what size these are. These are a nine. So these are the gray, uh, they have metallic threads in them. Sinooks. And then these are black ones with the black or the gray thing here, size nine also, they're the same. So they're like perfect condition. And so were the other gray ones that I grabbed. But I'm so silly and I literally threw it back. So this, I brought home a single Sinook. I don't know what is wrong with me. Like I, I brought home three single shoes. I paid for all that weight because I forgot to throw things back. So this is the, the single that I have. Oh, that's a 10. So those other ones might be a 10. I'm not sure. And I found these Tevas. Oh, by the way, none of this is listed. If you're interested in anything you see, just DM me on Instagram. We'll work out a special deal. Um, Tevas. I don't know what size these are. These are a size eight. So they just need to be wiped down, but they're in pretty good shape, like a wedge. Not mad about it. I was having a good shoe day. Aren't these fun? Got these hunter boots. They're kids size two. They're in pretty, pretty, pretty good shape, especially for finding them at the bins. The only problem is on the buckles, it's a little chewed. I don't know if you can see it. A little chewed on both buckles. I don't know why, but yeah. Girl size two. Great condition besides those buckles. Then I got these Crocs. These are the fleece line Crocs. I don't know if these do better. They just need wiped down, but yeah, the lining in them looks really nice. Great shape. They're size eight. I already tried them on. <laughs> they fit. I might keep them. I don't know. Depends on what the comps are. Then I got this fun pillow. It's way vintage. It's made in Taiwan. It's uh, like ribbed velvet. So it's orange, like a burnt orange. I love this color. So I got this for my house for a little fall pop of orange. Okay, you wanna do some more shoes? I grab, I grab this Vineyard Vines bag in the bins. I also got a Vineyard Vines shirt in here somewhere. And it, I'll just, if it sells, I'll throw it in here. Okay, I got these, these are White Mountain. I didn't really care what the brand was on these. I was gonna get them no matter what because they look brand new. They're that cognac, they have studs little wedge clog. They are real leather. Size nine and a half. Yeah, perfect condition. I, I love these. Um, very cute. Very cute for fall. And I got these little booties. These are Ecote. So these are Urban Outfitter boots. They're green. Like that really cute hunter green color just booties they i mean they're a little worn but they're leather heel looks pretty good yeah so i was excited about these let me see suede upper ooh they're a seven and a half that is my size so yeah very cute perfect for fall Next are these thorn boots. Nope, just kidding. They're Clarks. 
<laughs> these little Clarks, these are also a seven and a half. These are leather, chunky heel boots. They look a little rough, but the bottoms are like perfect with the sticker still on them. So I just feel like they got some, you know, spots on them from being knocked around the bin because like, I think they're meant to look distressed because literally this, the, the bottoms are perfect. So I just think the only real issues are these spots here and they're meant to look distressed on the toes, but I'll clean them up, see what we can do. Seven and a half, born boots. Okay, then I got these Ninja Turtle Crocs. Oh, do you sell kids shoes or clothes? No. <laughs> do I have tons of it unlisted? Yes. Someday, guys. Someday I will actually get it done and get it together. Yeah, they're just, I mean, they're beat up. They're pretty beat up. Like, the bottoms are, are worn. Um, the turtles are coming off the toe. But they're Crocs nonetheless. And... Kids are rough on their shoes, so maybe someone wants to buy these as play shoes. They're a, G a J3, so like juniors three. I don't know. I'm going to have to edit out all the creaking of this chair. Okay, now I'm going to show you bags. There's not that many. Uh, I got this Michael Kors wristlet. It's just blue. Michael Kors, it's a little beat up, but it's definitely real soft, buttery leather. Yeah, I mean, there's some wear, some tarnishing, some spots on the outside, but the inside's pretty decent, so 20 bucks. Oh, look, then I got his little cute Minnetonka keychain, it's like the shoe Minnetonkas. It's like a little suede. So I have Minnetonkas listed in my closet, so... Whoever buys them, I will send this as a free gift. I love finding stuff like this. My kid found me this. She knows I love Ray Dunn. It's not Ray Dunn. It's um, Old Navy, but it's a lunchbox. So I always pack my lunch for work. I love this. I was like, oh, she found me a lot of good stuff. Um, she found me those Allbirds. She's like, mom, don't you have these shoes? And I'm like, Yes, I do. <laughs> this is a Bagalini crossbody. Inside looks pretty, really good, actually. The only issue with this bag is really not an issue, but there is some like tarnishing around the edge of the Bagalini. Other than that, straps in good shape, bags in good shape. This is a little Vera Bradley quilted makeup. Zipper pouch. This is a baby blue little clutch wristlet. Uh, love sick, love sack, love. Hold on, I'll tell you. Love book, love book. So that probably came off of Amazon, but it's like brand new. So I got her. Then my dollar, my dollar. <laughs> My daughter, my daughter brought me this. That's Kate Spade, red, pebbled leather. It's that symbol, I believe, when it's not filled in means it came from the factory. But yeah, red pebble leather. There's some, you know, wear on the on the corners, but overall looks pretty good. I mean, the inside has some dirt around there, but it's that. Uh, I don't know. That has that's filled in. This. Um, can be washed out that liner can so it can be carried like this or crossbody with the chain i was like good job kid <laughs> so she's always looking for stuff got this michael kors dust bag i have some michael kors pants somewhere in this hall i'll probably put those pants in there because they're Michael Gores. They're not Michael. Michael Gores. They're real Michael Gores. So I was excited. Okay. Then I got this J. Crew brand new a tag. Little straw hat here. It is bent, so I have it up here. I need to fill it with 
stuff it with paper, but I thought it would look cute on the mannequin with the little shaggy vest. Um, for now, but yeah, that hat, anything like spring summery, I'm not, I'm just putting away in my spring summery totes and I've got way too much winter stuff to list right now. I can't even be messing. I picked up summer and spring, but it's just going put straight away. I don't have time. Uh, this vest, so cute. It's like this very shaggy fake fur vest. It's got pockets. It's a size large. It's uh, Rue 21, so it's nothing, you know, spectacular. So I thought maybe I might keep this for myself or just keep it as a prop or sell it. I don't know. It's really cute. It's in perfect shape, but you know. Okay, now let's get to it. Clothes. Here we go. Here we go. So first, let me say this, this trip with the kids, when I got all this stuff, it was so good. Like some of the stuff I've already shown you was from my first trip. That day was like, eh, you know, but this day was so good. I went to this one bin and literally it was like Lululemon, 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 J. Crew, J. Crew. So much J. Crew, Athleta, Lululemon, Figs. Like I got, you're going to see, you're going to see. You're going to see right now. I'm just saying, if you don't see it right now, you'll see it in the video after or the video after. Because if I don't shut up, it's going to be 20 videos. Okay. J. Crew, extra small. This is 100% merino wool. It's in perfect condition. It's got this really cute pattern. So soft. I'm not going to take the time to fold anything up. I'm just going to throw it all down. Okay, this is a J. Crew size small cardigan, but it's one of the one of their cotton cardigans, so it's like super thin. Navy blue pocketed. It's like the t-shirt cardigan or something. I can't remember the name of this, but I've sold a black one just like it. Perfect condition. And this is Madewell, size extra large. It's just a basic blush, blushy nude v-neck pocket tee. This is J. Crew. It's this little cream and navy polka dot skirt. I think this is called like the City Mini or something, size zero. I have this skirt in another color, but yeah, so cute. It's pockets. Yeah, it's got pockets. Literally, I don't think it's ever been worn. These are J. Crew. Also, like this whole big stack is all J. Crew. It was literally raw donations. I, I literally picked it up, put it in my car. It was all J. Crew. And I knew once after I looked at the first few pieces and people are just wild <laughs> and they just scoop up stuff. I was like, okay. I'm about to act like that today because I figured it would all be J. Crew. Same thing with when I found the blue lemon in the same bin. I pulled out two and I seen that they were Lulu. I just scrapped. Okay. So these are size 10. J. Crew, they're the Waverly. They're just like a, you know, tan, chino, pant, the Waverly style. Like a straight leg to me. Work pant, size 10. That's a good size. This J. Crew, size small. This gray knit, and it's got this built in, like little peekaboo undershirt at the hem. This is Skyzer Blue, which is Stitch Fix, I think. It's really cute. It's going away for spring, though. It's like pale peach with a navy blue and gray ruffle sleeve. It's like a sweater material, kind of heavy cotton. Perfect spring. Okay, these are all very similar. Three pairs all in a stack. J. Crew, they're black label. These are a six regular. So these are navy blue. They have a zipper in the back. They're like leggings, but they're like a ponty knit, skinny legging. So like super stretchy, just like a legging, but they're like dressier and thicker and heavier. I'm sure they're called something like that, you know, J. Crew fancy legging pants. <laughs> so then there's two pairs in black. This one is an eight regular. This has the 
exposed zipper. Yeah, just like a very stretchy legging type pant. And these have like the seam. I think you can see the seams down the back, like structured, cute. They're really cute. Same thing here, these are a six. Exposed zipper, they are in great condition. There's literally no pilling, full length. It's like, this was my kind of person, I feel like. She probably wore these to work with her comfortable shirts and was dressy, but still very cute and classy. Okay, this is J. Crew again. Uh, J. Crew Perfect Fit size small. This is a gray slub knit shirt, but the buttons are like little gold anchors. So it's got a little nautical theme to it. Okay, this is so cute. J. Crew size eight. It's an eyelet midi length. Maybe, well, maybe just knee length, past the knee. It's got these eyelet sleeves. It's collared, buttoned down this way. Such a cute eyelet dress. All of those eyelet throughout the whole thing. It's in really great shape, even though it's cream. There is just a little bit of self tanner or makeup or something inside. I don't see anything on the outside. It's got pockets. It's a really cute dress. I can't wait to find the stock photo. I'm not going to list it right now. No one's wearing that right now. But I'll put it away. Uh, J. Crew, extra small. Just a blue um, tank. This would be, like, perfect with that size zero with this because it's navy blue so i might even list this together as an outfit because extra small plus a zero that's an outfit well oh, these are so cute i'm probably keeping these for myself j crew knit goods large slim so these are christmas tree j crew joggers with the cuff down there green and blue joggers oh my gosh they're so cute i'm obsessed they have pockets, a drawstring. They have a little spot on the... I, these are men's, I'm almost positive, because they have that man pee hole here, you know? And there's a little bit of blue here. They just need to be run through the wash. They'll be fine. These pants. These are J. Crew new tag, size 8. So here's the tag. These are perfect for right now. They're called the Cafe Capri. <gasps> oh my gosh, they're wool, 100% wool. Cropped plaid. Oh my gosh, with a blazer and some booties. So adorable. And they're new with tags. They're probably $200. So, so excited about all that stuff in that bin. And there's more. <laughs> We're, we're still going. 25 minutes. We're still going. Okay, this is J. Crew. Now, this one I found on my first trip, but it was like the stuff was divided up. This is size six. It's a sunflower button front midi dress. It buttons all the way down. Very 90s. Like I found this someone's throwbacks as Michelle and G were leaving. <laughs> I was like, oh. Should I stay and look through their throwbacks? Okay, this is TLA, which is Anthro brand. It's just like a crisp back, crisscross, crisscrossy back, black ribbed tank. Nothing fancy. This is Talbot's size small. Just a, like a lettuce scallop hem. It's a, that's a scallop hem, not a lettuce hem. Navy blue, Pima cotton, I think, or something. Yeah, 100% Pima cotton. These are Hey Hey, Hi Hi, however you say it. Bye Bye. So those are from Anthropology. This is gray, a little cropped 
These are a low rise, probably not in the most in fashion, but they're cuffed gray cargo pants with buttons and ropes. I don't know. I've never found that brand at the bin, so I grabbed it. These, I'm keeping these, I think. Oh, Athleta, size 12. I, these shorts, oh my gosh. They're floral, they're so comfortable. They've got lots of pockets, the pockets zip. These seem like the perfect casual short for the summer. I probably just want to keep those for myself. They might be a little bit big, but I don't even care. Okay, this is Athleta size medium tall. It's, um, so that goes at the neck and then it has this little cutout here, but it's a long sleeve, like slinky. It's a sweater. It's in beautiful condition. Navy blue. It's perfect. It's literally perfect condition. It's the softest. What's the fabric? Let me check. It's 97% model, three, modal, model. How do you say that? Modal or model? And 3% spandex. It's summer of 18 is when it released. So not too old. Okay, then I found this little itty bitty teeny weeny Athleta. It's a size extra small little sports bra. So cute. And then this Athleta headband. It's got like their little lotus flower on it. It's cream and gray. It's gray. Oh, there's a little. So this will just be a freebie. I'll If someone buys something Athleta, I'll just toss that in. Okay. Lululemon men's size extra large. It's this green long sleeve. I'm sure there's a name for this, but I do not know. But yep. The size on the, so that's the Lululemon for on the men's shirt. And the size says live and practice. So it's probably like the daily practice shirt or something. And the size is right there, XL. So yay. This is Lululemon like a cross back padded bra tank the lulu is orange it's an eight it's either an eight or a six all the lulu was an eight or a six it was all the same girls it's an eight so yeah and that's all mesh at the bottom this whole thing is mesh oh i'm obsessed this Lululemon sweater. Now this thing needs to be soaked. I need to soak it, wash it, whatever, because it's seen better days. But as long as I can get all the dirt and dust out of it, I feel like who this girl had this Lululemon sweater. So it's got to be a six or an eight, probably an eight. It seems kind of big. Um, she had all this Lululemon and I bet you she, I don't think she ever washed this. It doesn't smell bad, but I think she was probably scared to wash it because it's like of the knit it is. So it's like a very heavy cow neck knitted cardigan. It's got pockets. It buttons. All the buttons are there and functioning. It has these big holes. So it's a very like loose fitting. Maybe it's a six. I don't know. But I've sold one of these before for like 60 bucks. It just has so much, do you see that at the neck, like makeup, tanner, it just needs a good deep clean, but I'm confident I'll be able to get it, get it back to good shape. These are Lululemon, obviously. <laughs> you guys, I was so excited. I, I kept calling my, these are a six, these are crop length. I kept calling my husband and was saying, okay, the kids want to stay more, more rotation. And I just found a bin of this. And then I just found a bin of this and I just found this. So I was like, we're not coming home. He was like, you're fine. You know, I'm just playing video games anyways. He loves when I go to the bins. Now these are good. Uh, I think these are an eight or a six. These are full length. Yeah. These are an eight rip tag still intact. There's that. Oh, they fold over? Oh, yeah. 
maybe or i don't know are they reversible i don't know what they do anyways i thought they were high waisted but maybe you can fold that so that shows literally no idea but whatever they are they're in really good condition full length they're like a blue they're a, some type of like slate slate gray i mean there's a little pilling but they're soft they're stretchy i think i don't know what their name is i'll find it though i always do moving on let me see these are the same size so let me just find it really fast i love this girl and all her donations let me tell you well i don't know okay i'm not gonna waste any time trying to find size but anyways blue it has this little pull tabby here so you can cinch it on the side it's like a purple blue lulu slinky c3 cute it's a, i think it's a six a six or an eight here's another lululemon this one has like the cursive writing on inside to keep the top up because it's like one of these so it has these like bra like straps and then all this is all cut out and the lulu's down here and this one is a six or an eight <laughs> how many times are you gonna say that oh, as many as it takes i already found all these sizes so i don't oh it's an eight i knew it Okay, here's another Lululemon. It's this one has deodorant or something on it. So it's black and gray. It has the built-in Chris strappy back with the cutouts. But this one has a severe like I don't know if it was like yeah, like I I don't think that's gonna come out. I think it's like deep. Like, but, <laughs> I'm gonna try to get it out, but this one does not have its pads, but you can put your own pads in it. So, yep, all that. What, how many minutes? Oh, 35. I should stop right there, huh? I'm going to stop right there. Ah! Oh, the suspense. Hmm. Yeah, isn't that crazy? All that stuff. All that Lululemon, all that J. Crew in one bin. Nuts. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm going to film it right now. It'll come out just a couple days later yeah so subscribe if you love haul videos because i love to do them and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy ben's haul videos wasn't this so good so far it is right i'm so excited i'm so excited it's so much better than before okay we've got a lot to do here see you in my next one bye